What's up, everybody? It's Josh. I can't believe this happened, but we're getting our first look at the Oscar Isaac Moon Knight costume. This broke while I was in a live stream, so I'm going to show you my first reaction to that. Clipped it out from the live stream, but stay to the end of the video because I'm also going to talk about an article that just came out with... Ethan Hawke talking about how he got his Moon Knight role, and I want to sort of just go over some of the things we know about Moon Knight and what fans are saying about this first look at the Moon Knight costume. So, here it is. Holy mother love and love of mothers, you must be flipping my flapjacks on a Sunday morning. We've got our first official look at the new Moon Knight suit. People are bringing this up in the chat, so we got to get into this together. We got to talk about this, and bam. There it is, right in your face. Welcome to Moon Knight. And I want to know immediately how you guys are feeling. So I see people in the chat. You guys let me know how you're feeling about this. From what I've seen online, there are some people that are not super down with this suit model. Okay, so let's go over just what we can see on here and some of the inspiration for the suit and, and, and my feelings on it. So... It obviously looks super, super Egyptian. It looks like it's got some mummified, mummy type things going on. You know what I mean? It's that that feeling is all over the suit. Way more uh, what I would describe as sort of supernatural and sort of creepy than a lot of the other designs we see in MCU costumes. This really and truly feels unique in a way that not a lot of other costumes feel in the MCU to me. That's sort of my first takeaway with it. The glowing white eyes, dope. Absolutely dope. And if this is really just a photograph of the suit, then that's a practical effect that is put in there with the glowing, likely something to be enhanced digitally. I wonder if he's going to have some of the straps and some of the things that are on the suit moving around, flowing, perhaps organically moving around, something like the spawn kind of cape or something like that. Very, very cool. We see the crescent moon on his uh, forehead there. You've got the obvious kind of hood thing going on. I wonder what it looks like when he takes that hood off. You know what I mean? And we don't really see much of like a cape going on here, but you do have sort of armored shoulder pads uh and to me dude this looks dope like i'm i am here for it oscar isaac obviously has been super hyped up about this show where did this leak come from i'm not 100 sure we'll check it out in just a second i'll see what people are saying on twitter but like dude oscar isaac you know being very hyped up for this show i personally love moon knight i love a lot of the different runs and especially that warren ellis run where he came back into that six issue run and i'm hoping they pull some elements from that but this is the first look at this mother flipping oscar isaac moon knight costume man i i do wonder how people feel about this so i see some people in the chat saying it's dope uh, yeah, 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 Okay, so it's important to note that just in kind of the half hour after this came out, I still cannot confirm for sure if it is real. A lot of people are saying it looks like it's legitimate, and I really hope Disney doesn't strike this video or do something like that because I don't know. Like, it, you know, it's just weird with, with copyright stuff. Usually Disney's pretty chill about that kind of stuff, so maybe uh, you won't even see this freaking video because they'll be like, annihilate his channel. But regardless, people are are kind of mixed on the suit thus far. It is trending, which is very freaking cool. A, a very, very fun, uh, you know, sort of thing for the fandom to get excited about and all of that, right? But the, uh, the, the thing about the suit... There's a lot of people saying it looks a little clunky, looking a little weird, uh, not necessarily uh, as fun as most of the MCU stuff looks to me. And to me, I think it looks dope, dude. I, I, I really think it evokes some very cool uh, feelings for the show. I want to show you just one thing, and then we'll get into the new article where Ethan Hawke is talking about his role. And by the way, it is kind of rumored out there, guys, that Ethan Hawke might be playing werewolf by night a character that may get his own spin-off disney plus series and also play a big role in the supernatural side of the mcu moving forward so there's a lot of fun possibilities when it comes to moon knight so here's just a couple of images that i wanted to show you guys for this video like 
Moon Knight, as I was sort of saying in the live stream earlier today, which, yeah, by the way, definitely go check out the live streaming channel. We have a lot of fun over there, and it was hilarious when this thing happened, just seeing everybody's reaction to it live. But what I was saying was, this is a Batman-type character. He strikes a lot of similar silhouettes to the Batman character, okay? And so when I was looking at that suit, which does have, you know, it's pretty involved, right? It's got a lot of, like, mummy-looking things and straps. I think with some digital effects that will make it sort of ripple in the wind, much like we see, you know, Batman's um, cape do in a lot of different films, I think it could be very successful, okay? Here's another look. This is sort of an older style of drawing Moon Knight. This was sort of more back in the day, uh, less modern, but still really, really cool. And I get a lot of the same vibes just in the way that his cape is, is really all over the place. You know, a lot of like Spawn as well. This right here though, this is interesting. This is something that was uh, sort of popularized in the new Warren Ellis run of Moon Knight that then just kind of kept being written. And this is Miss Mr. Knight, sort of a persona of Moon Knight when he's not in his cape and doing crazy fighting. He just literally walks around in a white suit like this. He beats people up with like a billy club. It's kind of dope. I do hope we see that in the show as well. But uh, some fans were hoping that that was going to be more the official look of it. And then here's something interesting, sort of fan art of Oscar Isaac. And this is a way more just tactile suit, you know, less crazy uh, drapings and, and mummy type stuff and looking way more like a Batman here. So some fans would have preferred something like that. Now, let's get into this article here. This is on Heroic Hollywood. It's Ethan Hawke revealing how Oscar Isaac got him his Moon Knight role. Okay, so he uh, opens up, and this was during Late Night with uh, Steve uh, Stephen Myers, and to promote his new book, the conversation quickly moved to Moon Knight. Um, and uh, it turns out Hulk or uh, Hawk got the job straight from Oscar Isaac. That is kind of dope. Uh, says, well, I heard about it from Oscar Isaac, who lives like, you know, three blocks down the street from me in Brooklyn. I was at a coffee shop. He came up to me and he's like, hey, I really liked the good Lord Bird. I was like, hey, cool. I really like your work. You're amazing. He's like, hey, want to be in Moon Knight with me? I was like, yeah. So it happened the right way, you know. The conversation eventually continued to the actual happenings of the show. Ethan Hawke revealed that he was sworn to secrecy due to NDAs he signed, but he praised Moon Knight for its sets and cinematography. All in all, Moon Knight is said to be one of the Disney Plus most unique shows thanks to its stellar lead actors. In the comics, Mark Spector, aka Moon Knight, was a CIA agent turned mercenary, making millions during his last mercenary job in Cairo. Spector was left for dead by a former colleague. Specter dragged himself through the sands desert to a tomb of Khonshu, the Egyptian moon god. There he was pronounced dead, but resurrected at the hands of Khonshu, and the resurrection took a toll. However, he developed multiple personality disorder. When he returned to New York, he created two new personalities, Stephen Grant and Jake Lockley. Grant was the millionaire womanizer, while Lockley was a cab driver. Okay, so kind of cool, interesting stuff there. You love to hear that kind of a thing where it's just like Oscar Isaac and he again he seems so hyped up for this role you love to see it like the same energy that Tom Hiddleston brings to Loki and in the love that you see him just pouring out whenever he's in an interview talking about it the obvious love that he gives to the performance in the show you love to see an actor like just totally fall in love with their character and and really be all about it Oscar Isaac has been sharing dope stuff about Moon Knight since before he was even confirmed to be Moon Knight. He is an incredible actor. And I love hearing that he goes up to Ethan Hawke in a coffee shop and is like, hey, bro, I love your work. You know, you're, you're awesome. Dude, you want to be in freaking Moon Knight? And it might have even been like, hey, you want to be werewolf by night in Moon Knight? And that is fantastic. And you're getting two real, true action stars like if you've ever seen these guys like ethan hawk had a, had a big stint after training day of being an action star he was like just in a bunch of cool action movies assault on precinct 13 and, and a bunch of movies like that i really liked him in those roles and it's the same thing with Oscar Isaac. Like, Oscar Isaac's done a lot of different things. You know, he's done his Star Wars. He, he, he's done uh, experimental, more indie stuff. He's got a, a great range. But I love him in his action stuff. That Triple Frontier movie he did on Netflix, I thought he was awesome in that role. Definitely can bring a cool physicality and sort of a macho-ness to the role. But he's also got that craziness. Now, last thing I'll say here is when it comes to the plot of Moon Knight, 
they're going to be focusing on mental health. And I think they're going to play around with this idea of whether or not he, Mark Spector is actually a superhero, whether or not some of this stuff is just happening in his mind, and they might play with that multiple personality disorder and, and, and really dig into that side of it, which to me is so exciting because it's going to allow the show to be sort of this cross between a crazy action movie and a weird, trippy, experimental person losing their mind film. That is a very cool genre blended thing to me. So guys, that's the that's going to be it for this video. Our first look, maybe, hopefully, possibly, at the Moon Knight costume and some dope comments from Ethan Hawke talking about how he got the role and a little summary of what to expect for the Moon Knight series. I'm pumped for it. It's actually one of my most anticipated coming Marvel projects. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. A reminder to like this video if you liked this update and go check out the live streaming channel where we live stream at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, breaking down all these nerdy things. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.